Hello everybody, my name is Caroline. Thanks for tuning in to today's video on the photo booth with the printer. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to print a photograph from your photo booth. Now, this video assumes that you watched my last video where I configured a photo booth with the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Raspbian Buster operating system. We are gonna pick up right where we left off and configure the printer. The printer I am using is a Canon Selfie 1300 portable printer. It does print real photos. I did purchase this myself. This is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. I am using the Canon Selfie CP1300 printer in this video. It is a wired connection between the printer and my photo booth station. I did attempt to uh, do this as an as a wireless setup, it didn't work for me. I am just going to stick with the wired connection with a mini USB connection between the Canon selfie printer and the photo booth. This wire does not automatically come with purchase of the printer. I will make a special link below just for this one wire. I will also provide a link to the Canon Selfie uh, CP1300 printer as well as I've found that it works well. Now you'll see that I have my screen up, but I have made a major change to my configuration from the last time I made this video. I have added on a HDMI monitor right here, and now I'm doing two screens so I can view the tutorial on one screen and I can enter commands in the other screen. And you can see that on my screen recording right here. The way I did that was I hooked up the HDMI to HDMI zero and I left the touch screen exactly as it was in the last video. And it seems to be working. So I'm really excited about that, taking advantage of the Raspberry Pi 4 capabilities of the dual screen. Now I'm on my GitHub repository. I will link to it below. Touch selfie install commands only. This is the same repository as I referred to in my previous video. And this is not the code. Uh, this is simply the commands that you enter to get the code to work. And let's move, let's scroll all the way down to instructions to add a printer. And essentially you need to install something called cups in order for the Raspberry Pi to print. Or we've got a terminal opened on this side, so I'm just gonna start copying and pasting the commands. And this is so easy now that I've got two screens going. So first of all, I'm gonna sudo apt-get install cups. And yes, I want to continue. Excellent, that is done now. Next, I want to sudo apt-get install python-cups. All right, perfect. And then I want to change the user mod to pi because that is how I log in to my Raspberry Pi, enter. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna open a web browser, which I have, and I'm gonna to go to localhost 631, copy. I'm just gonna open up another tab here, paste, enter. All right, excellent. So we are at cups, and I'm gonna click on adding printers and classes, and I'm gonna hit add printer, and I'm gonna sign in. And here it is, Canon Selfie printer. Hit that radio button and then hit continue. And this is the printer. I'm gonna hit continue. And then I need to select the driver or the make and model. And I am going for a Canon CP1300. I don't see that on the list. I'm gonna choose CP1200 instead. Add printer. And uh, yes, it is the uh, postcard size printer. And I've set the default options. There it is, it's set up successfully. And let's go back to our instructions. I've added the printer. Next I need to CD into Touch Selfie into the directory where I've saved my files. And then I'm gonna rerun setup.sh, the script. And we've done this before, but now we're going to run it over again to get the printer in the setup file here. And here we go, Let's, I'm gonna move this over here. Hopefully this is a little bit easier to see. We're gonna hit enable photo print, selfie 1300. I'm gonna make this big. Now, here's the real reason I'm adding an HDMI monitor. The real reason is that on this tiny touchscreen, I couldn't see the next button because it's all the way at the bottom, but now I can. All right, excellent. So now I'm gonna hit next. And then this was already set up in the previous video. I've got my application ID, I've got my credentials, everything's great, I'm gonna hit next. 
and the email we've we set that up in the last video i'm going to leave that alone hit next and then uh, the google photo album same thing hit next uh, i'm going to archive the photos to my flash drive here same hit save and now we are going to go back into the photo booth so this is the command we use to run the photo booth sudo photo booth hopefully this works now excellent so i'm going to hit the uh, picture button and let's take a picture and i've taken a picture and it is a little bit weird because I've got this monitor. It's kind of on the monitor, it's kind of on this. Uh, so essentially what you're gonna have to do is uh, remove the monitor and then it will go back to the way it was. Let's see, if I unplug the monitor right now, let's see what happens. If I unplug the monitor, does it go back? No, it does not. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to reboot the Raspberry Pi. And here we go, reboot. And here is our Raspberry Pi. It's coming, it's back up again. I'm going to open my terminal and I'm going to CD into touch selfie. And then I'm going to run the photo booth. Excellent. Now I've got the photo booth going. I'm going to hit the middle button to get one picture and it is going to do a countdown. And there is my picture. It is uploading. And to print it, all I have to do is hit the print button. And here it goes. It's starting to print now. And here's the photo I printed straight from the photo booth. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.